Hey guys, so I've been promising you now for such a long time to do a video on an orange lip and I'm going to do that for you right now. Um, I apologize for making you wait this long. Hopefully it's worth the wait. But the YSL Le Orange number 13 is the lip color of choice that I'm going to be featuring, kind of making this whole look centered around. So if you like the look that I have on right now, then stay tuned and I'll show you how to achieve it. The orange lip that I'm going to be using is the YSL that I showed in a video recently. It's number 13, Le Orange, and it's beautiful. <laughs> I just love it so much. And um, so basically everything's going to be centered around this. Um, I've been wearing this quite a bit, and when I do, I go really subtle eyes and cheeks, and I just try to keep it really glowy. Um, I don't. I want the main focus to be my lips, so I want to tone down everything else. So. As you can see my naked face, I don't have anything on. I always start, I have my, my um, Cebu Hydrating Serum and the Day Cream on, and then I put the um, Kula Mineral Sunscreen, the unscented. And I always do my eyes first. It's just the habit that I get into. But I like to put the sunscreen on before my eyes because then it gives it time to kind of soak into my skin before I apply primer and foundation. So I'm just going to put this on. I haven't done a tutorial in a while, so I feel like very rusty at these. I have been loving this sunscreen so much, and I have been using it faithfully pretty much all summer long since I've gotten it. Okay, so starting out, um, primer. Actually, I'll try to zoom you in a little bit. I'm going to use the Urban Decay Sin. This is just a little sample that I've had. Um to prime my eyelids for the shadow. Just rub this in with my fingers. And then the other thing that I've kind of been getting in the habit of doing is every day I've been using this below ground grease paint stick from MAC and just lining underneath my lash line with it and um, this will probably be in my favorites video because literally I've been using it every day it's just a perfect like brownie gold color and it's not harsh but it gives like a nice smoky effect underneath your eyes so for my eyeshadow I'm gonna use the YSL palette this is the ombre five color harmony eyes in W1BA. I'm not really familiar with these palettes, but gorgeous, gorgeous um, golden and kind of bronzy shimmers. Um, again, we really just want to do very subtle eyes, so I'm actually going to put this color right here all over the lid and then just darken it up a little bit with that color. And um, you really could do any colors. I mean, I've even worn that lipstick with just taking NARS Galapagos over all over the lid and then just kind of smudging it up into the crease and, sh and blending it out and even that's really pretty and subtle. Right in the center of my eye, I'm just going to put a little touch of this gold just to kind of highlight the center. And then like I said, in the crease, I'm going to take this darker brown with a MAC 217 brush. And I always find keeping my eyes open just really helps to, um, you know, help see where the, the color, like how far up I want the color to go because most of the time your eyes are open. Um, and then I'm going to take that same brown color and just smudge it underneath my lower lash line right over top that below ground shade stick or grease paint stick. I keep wanting to call it a shade stick. 
just to make this more soft. And now we're going to just blend this out so it's very nice and blended. And this is a Sigma tapered E40. It's just a little travel size one that I picked up. And I'm really not bringing the color up any further than where it is, just really blending it so that it's soft, not harsh. And I'm also going to blend right underneath that color. And that'll smoke it out even more. Okay, and then finally I'm just going to take this middle color right here. It's like shimmery champagne just right underneath the brows. And that is it for eyeshadow. I'm just going to take MAC Charcoal Brown and fill in my eyebrows a little bit. Not that they need to be any fuller, but just so that there's no sparse areas. And this is just one of those brushes that I got from Walmart in the um, high definition and it has the little comb on the other side, the little spoolie. So for liner, um, I'm going to use the Revlon liquid liner, but you could use any liner that you want, including brown. Um, this is just kind of my go-to. Did I get on my nose? Just need to move the mirror a little bit closer so I can see what I'm doing. And I just do like a little flick at the end. And on the other side. And if you are someone that puts black liner on your lower lash line, um, I would go ahead and do that. I'm not, so I'm going to skip that step. anybody's in the market for a good liquid liner, I would recommend this one in a heartbeat. And it's honestly lasted me a really long time. Like I feel like it should be empty. <laughs> And it's like still going strong, so. Okay, next up I am going to curl my lashes with the Shoot Umera Curler. And the mascara I'm going to use is the NYC Big and Bold. It has a pretty large plastic brush. And I don't love this better than Prestige My Blackest Lashes, but it is a decent mascara. So that's it for eyes. They are completed. Um, as far as my face, I'm going to just zoom you back out. Um, I'm going to try and cover up all of this redness in little breakouts that I've been having. And I'm going to start by priming. And this is the Hourglass um, 
mineral primer. It's oil-free and it's SPF 15. Um, this was sent to me by Hourglass and I've been trying it and I really, really like it. I will say a little goes a long way. Um, I only use one little pump and it's enough to cover my entire face. It does um, keep my makeup in place all day and um, it really feels almost very similar to the sunscreen as far as consist consistency goes. Um, it doesn't feel like most primers do that have that silicone base. Um, it just goes on really nice and it really absorbs very well into the skin. I really like it. Um, I would not recommend it if you're going to be using like photography because it does have the SPF, but for every day, it's really nice. And then I definitely wanted to feature this in a two, two tutorial. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I'm in the color number seven. I've really been enjoying this. Um, and what I do is kind of just pump it onto my brush. And I'm going to just use the Sigma um, F86 Tapered Kabuki. And I just pump one little pump right onto it. And then just kind of dot it all over my face and then blend it in from there. This definitely is not a full coverage foundation. I would say it's light to medium, but buildable. So you definitely can go back over areas that you need extra coverage. But um, it's a really, really nice finish to your skin. And this is actually the perfect, perfect color match for me right now with the minimal tan that I have left. So as you can see, it really covered up my redness perfectly. Um, I'm just going to use a little bit of just a teeny tiny bit more just as my concealer right over top my trouble spots where I'm breaking out. And this has super great staying power, too. I've really, really been, in, been enjoying this foundation a lot. And I don't know why I waited so long to try it. But, nonetheless, I'm glad that I did, finally. Okay. And... So obviously we want to do some bronzer. Um, in this case, I'm just going to skip the blush altogether and use kind of my bronzer as my blush. And for any time that I want to do something like that, I love, love, love using this product. It's my go-to. It's the So Ceylon for MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, which I know you can't get anymore. But really you could achieve this look with any mineralized kind of like, you could tell it's kind of like a rosy bronzer. Um, any bronzer that you have, really, you could do this. I would definitely go with a bronzer that has a shimmer to it, not so much of a matte because you won't get the effect that I like. But um, I love the So Ceylon because it's a bronzer and blush all in one. So I just use this kind of all over my face, but more so on my cheekbones the most. And this brush I'm using is the Bobbi Brown bronzer brush. So, and then I kind of just hit my temples, nose, and then underneath but my main focus is my cheeks and this color is perfect for this kind of look and then I kind of top it off with the cheeky bronze MSF which is a little bit lighter but it has some nice shimmer so I just kind of hit the tops of my cheekbones with that one as my highlight kind of glowy maybe a little down my nose And that is it. So must have the Scandinavia um, finishing spray. This is the bridal one. You could use any one. You could use the Urban Decay D Slick. It's all the same. This is a must have for me. So before I do my lips, I'm just going to put this on so it has time to set. And as for my lips, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Borderline Pencil 
Um, a lot of people told me that e.l.f. makes one similar to this, and I did look it up and I saw it online, and it's called the Lip Lock by e.l.f., and it's $3. I haven't been able to find it at Target because I wanted to pick it up and just do kind of a comparison, but a lot of the comments in this video when I did my whole review on this pencil said that e.l.f. makes a very similar product. Actually, a lot of brands do, but e.l.f. is the cheapest. Um, this is basically just a clear waxy pencil that I outline the outer edge of my mouth with, and it ensures that my lipstick is not going to bleed outside of the normal lip line. And I love using pencils like this for really bold, bright colors, especially colors like this orange where I don't have a matching lip liner to go with it. So again, I just go on the border of my lips and you can't even see it. It's literally clear. And I'm just going to go straight from the tube with the YSL Little Orange. And having that pencil is great because you don't have to worry about falling outside the lines. So it's on. And then one little trick that I do that I've learned over the course of getting into makeup is I blot this almost completely and do it again and this will ensure the staying power but I will say there's even been days where I don't blot this stuff stays all day like once it's on it's there and you really don't have to worry about touching it up except after maybe you eat or drink something. It's so smooth, it's so creamy, it goes on amazingly. I love this lipstick. I love this brand in general, the YSL Rouge, Rouge, Rouge Pure Couture lipsticks. I really, really recommend them. Um, and that's it. And that is the entire tutorial with the orange lips. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it and it was worth the wait. I know I made you wait entirely too long and I apologize for that. But I hope that you guys have a great Labor Day with your family and friends and just relax and chill. Hopefully it's nicer where you are. It's gloomy and rainy today, but we are headed over to my parents for a family barbecue. So I hope that you guys enjoy this and I'll see you soon. Bye.